Hey all, welcome back to Two Geeks Talking in this series. Today we're discussing a crucial topic for content creators, finding your niche. If you're considering starting a podcast or a video interview show, stick around because we're unraveling the significance of selecting your niche and providing you with valuable tips. So let's get going. Choosing a niche is like setting the foundation for your creative journey. It's about carving out your unique space in the sea of content. With over 8 billion people in the world, it's hard to get noticed. But if you have a well-defined niche that not only attracts your ideal audience, but also brings clarity and purpose to your content, then you're going to have a wonderful time in your journey as a content creator. Think about it. When your content resonates deeply with a specific group of people, you're more likely to foster a loyal community that eagerly anticipates your episodes and engages with your content. You need to start by asking yourself, who is your ideal listener or viewer? What are their interests, challenges, and aspirations? And what are you passionate about talking about with your podcast or video interview show? If you understand your target audience, It'll help you tailor your content to meet their needs and also keep you entertained as you create the content from day one to, say, 10 years down the road. If you know your audience, you know yourself. Knowing your audience allows you to create content that resonates deeply, addresses their pain points, and adds value to their lives. It's all about building a connection that goes beyond the screen. It also depends on what content you're trying to create. If you're creating a podcast about, say, tech tips in computer repair, then that's something you'll definitely want to focus on. If you're more of an entertainment interviewer and you want to just talk about gossip of entertainment celebrities, then that's another avenue or niche that you might focus on. Maybe you want to actually interview people on a one-on-one -on -one basis like we do here at Two Geeks Talking, then wonderful, that's another avenue you can look into. There are many different, more popular people out there that are YouTube creators. It depends on what you're looking at trying to either emulate, or maybe eventually you'll find your voice in your own style that will help you be more passionate about what you're talking about. The one thing about being a podcast or a video interview show is consistency. A lot of shows you see have a great idea, a great concept. They do episode one, they get to episode 10, and then it just peters off. The enjoyment of being a content creator, being an interviewer fades. If you can get past episode 10, you're doing well. It depends on how much time you focus on either an interview show or how much time you focus on creating the content you want to create, what you're passionate about. As long as it doesn't feel like you're overworking yourself or doing a job, then you're going to enjoy yourself a lot more and you won't burn yourself out a lot as quickly. Consistency is the key. You know how they say, how do you, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. It's the same with how do I make my podcast and video interview show out there to the masses so that they'll constantly see it. It's consistency, consistency, consistency. Specializing in a particular content that focuses and establishes your authority and credibility in that area. Your audience will know what to expect and eagerly look forward to your next episode and your personal insights. You have to research your topic or your passion because researching is your ally. Dive into your niche. Read, watch, listen to related content podcasts, video interviews, however you can find your content, research it to the best of your ability. Engage with communities, attend events, and learn from experts that are in your niche. The more you know, the more impactful your content will be. And if there's no one in your niche, make it your niche. Become the expert. People who are finding your niche or are passionate about the same niche that you want to talk about, they'll find you more readily and you'll build your community a lot bigger and a lot better. Remember, niches can evolve, and so can your content. 
stay open-minded to adapting and learning new aspects about your niche. Ensuring your content remains relevant and resonates with your audience, whether it's been a year or 10 years down the road. And there you have it. Finding your niche is the key to unlocking content creation that's meaningful, engaging, and uniquely yours. Whether you're starting a podcast or video interview show, I encourage you, dive into your niche, research your passion, and find your purpose for creating the content you want to create. The rest will follow. Thanks for joining, and until next time, keep those conversations flowing. Did you enjoy this video? Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more insightful content. And as always, stay tuned on Two Geeks Talking.